One of the most popular television comedies in the 1990s was called Seinfeld. But the main characters were all pretty much self-centered, selfish people. On the last episode of the series, Judgment Fell, there was a law that was passed in one of the states that said if somebody's in trouble and you don't help them, you can be held guilty. And it ends up these ones of the characters are brought to court and the, by all the people they treated badly. And a few of the characters end up in jail. That's how Seinfeld ended. The law they violated was called the Good Samaritan Law, a real law. And it was named after the parable of Messiah that we're going to open up tonight. It's amazing, 2,000 years later, an entire law named after a parable that Yeshua, Jesus, spoke. Now there's a gigantic polarization happening in America. We've witnessed it recently. We've witnessed it, actually we witnessed several states nearby, in a, nearby us, moving to further the killing of unborn children. By the way, did I tell you this is not going to be politically correct? This is going to be eternally correct tonight. <laughs> killing unborn children to make it legal to kill them up to the point of birth. Even this week, another state, Vermont, went even a step farther than New York, if you could believe it. And that is they said there's no reason at all, for whatever reason you want, you can kill an unborn child up to the point of birth. And so at the same time, that's happening in our region. At the same time in another region, not so close to us, other states are moving in the opposite direction. And they are trying to end the practice of killing unborn children. And the media is not outraged about the killing of unborn children up to the point of birth, couldn't care less. But about trying to stop or minimize the killing, they are in an uproar. I'm amazed by it. I mean, you know, even, even before I knew the Lord, when I was a secular, liberal, atheist, I could not fathom how any society could allow such a thing to the most defenseless. I couldn't imagine it. I thought all liberals were going to be up in arms against this. But when I listen to the media now, outraged, mocking, the fact that anybody would come against such a practice, I still can't fathom how anybody could do that. I can't fathom how the New York State Legislature could pass such a merciless, gruesome law and then celebrate it. I can't fathom how Stephen Colbert and other late night talk show hosts and comedians can talk about the killing of unborn children with laughter and with mocking. Stephen Colbert, it's not about him. He said that but regard, with regard to the, the pro-life law just passed in the South, he said he wanted to be beamed off the planet. In other words, he cannot live, he cannot bear to live on a planet where you can't kill unborn children everywhere you want. I can't fathom it to this day. Even when I was a non-believer, couldn't, couldn't fathom it. I can't fathom it as a believer. How can you be a human being and not know it's wrong to kill a human being in its mother's womb? How can you not have compassion? How can you have no mercy? This is a judgment on our culture. Now if you were engaged in this before you knew the Lord, you, you are saved, you give it to God and He has mercy on you just like He does with all of us. But the point is our culture has become merciless. And we need to pray. Another reason why this is crucial to pray. And the parable that Messiah is going to give is of the opposite spirit of mercilessness. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.